We asked Saskatchewan what they know about 5G. Uh, more speed, more innovation. It's going to make our lives a whole heck of a lot easier. This is what 5G looks like. Better, faster. Sounds like one more G. Sounds pretty good. I don't know what it means. All you really need to know is the future of 5G is here and will continue improving through investments in network technology. Imagine a place with endless possibilities. Imagine a place where people come together to build families, businesses, and communities. Imagine a place where small town values and progressive qualities are in perfect harmony. Imagine a place rich with so much vitality. Imagine your future in Martinsville.
Welcome to the Curling Stadium broadcast. My name is Danielle Inglis, and I'll be joining this broadcast. Thanks so much for your patience to work through some audio issues. Now, if you were watching from the beginning, you saw Team Watling taking one on a measure. They had the hammer in the first end. Team Carey now with the hammer here in end two. Both teams already enjoying a few rocks in play. Also worth noting that Team Watling is playing with three this game. Team Carey has all, all four and has Jamie Sinclair in the lineup at Vice. Now, as you saw, a crash on the guard means uh, Team Watling saying shot rock on the top button. Looking to replace that guard, tight guard. Now both of these teams fighting for their lives here in this field. Team Watling at 0-2. Team Carey 1-1. One one. This rock coming up a bit late, so it'll give Team Carey the, the same shot again. Perhaps even an opportunity to sit three after this if the angles line up correctly. They can get a good chunk of that top red. They should be able to send the blue back and stick around for three. is Jolene Campbell. They will get it, but it is not enough to squeeze out the back, but Team Carey is sitting to right in the back eight, out counting their third biter over on the side 12. And Team Carey with the hammer. Team Watling asking for that hidden roll behind the guard. Now this is this can be a difficult shot on a good day, but now with only having only having one sweeper, it kind of calls into question sometimes what you're what you're thinking as a thrower and the tendency, which is what we just saw there, is to perhaps overthrow it a bit, knowing that you don't necessarily have two sweepers to hold the line as hard. So that rock is wide open for Team Carey. Pulls to play the hit, avoid the jam at the back. And avoided, so Team Carey sitting, sing two. Well, if Team Watling plays this right, they should be able to double and get the roll with enough weight and the correct angle and get that roll right in behind the guard. And here we go, Vice's last rocks, looking for that double and roll. Now they will get one, but just a, a miss on the sweeping call, line call there, and it will still be Team Carey sitting shot rock in the back eight foot. Great opportunity for Team Carey to sink one in top eight, just buying top four. And lay two. 
and Team Carry with the hammer at this end. Last Vice Rock for Team Carry. Need this to stop above the T. And it will not. So it is. Team Carry still saying one at the back, but Team Watling two in the back eight sitting shot second and third. Now they're going to ignore the rock over on the carry rock over on the side eight and draw a story around the corner. Now they'd like to keep this top eight just buying top four to make team carries next couple shots very difficult. To be almost a little bit of a downward path there. Both both players getting tripped up by the speed in that spot. Seems to have a bit of weight sensitivity. If you up it a bit, it will run straighter and go further. So now it's team carry again sitting shot rock in the back eight, drawing to sit two and behind guard. This is Chelsea's first rock and end two. Waiting for the curl, and it did finish. You can see half to three quarters exposed. So Pierce Team Watling is going to just remove the back, essentially conceding two to Team Carry. Now there may be a chance if they can hit and roll in behind that they could potentially just hang on to the back four. Four shot rock. This is hanging out there. So they'll remove the carry stone but it, it will be Chelsea having the exact same shot with some backing, just being a good chunk of the eight foot for their deuce. Last rock in the end two. Team carry sitting shot stone drawing for a second.
just missing using their own as backing and it looks like that might have gone too far so it will only be one point for team carry we are all tied up after two ends of play Sastel Be Kind Online wants to stop cyberbullying. Want in on the action? We award up to $1,000 for youth initiatives that help spread kindness and prevent bullying. What great idea do you have to help stop bullying? Sastel can help. Go to BeKindOnline.com and apply for a grant today. Together, we can make a difference. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. Imagine a place with endless possibilities. Imagine a place where people come together to build families, businesses, and communities. Imagine a place where small town values and progressive qualities are in perfect harmony. Imagine a place rich with so much vitality. Imagine your future in Martinsville. We are back with our coverage of the Curling Stadium Martinsville International. We have Team Watling taking on Team Carey. Team Watling with the hammer in the first, took one in a measure. Team Carey had an opportunity for the deuce in the second end. A little heavy resulted in just one. So back with Team Watling having the hammer here in end three. If you're just joining us, yes, Team Watling is playing with three players this game. Team Carey has four. Jamie Sinclair is in their lineup at third. So originally call was a freeze, but you can see that late finish allowed them for a good plan B, tucking a piece behind. In front of the tee, there's about half exposed. Still available for Team Watling, though, to tap it back or, or bump it out with some backline to hack. Again, this is where having only one sweeper can sometimes come into play. You can see here a bit of an overthrow, and that will actually tap the carry stone further behind cover. He's called for Team Carry.
didn't quite keep the angle they wanted, but still job well done. Now forces Team Watling into, into playing a peel or a hidden roll over to the corner guard position. They got the hit, but missed, missed a bit of the line call there. They really did want to bounce it over to the corner guard. Because as you can see now, team carries sitting shot rock in behind a few rocks. Calls for the long guard. That'll be good. Team Watling looking to play that double. Or even just the, the single, perhaps even uh, trying a bit of a run back here. Going to need a big scrub to hold the line and get by the rock on the top. They will not, and it crashes on the guard. Team Carey will be looking to replace that, but they'd like to keep it even closer onto center, a little bit more in front of that red stone, so it can't be run back again by Team Watling. Keepers picking up this one right out of the hand. There is some nice finish in the ice. Suspect that's why they were sweeping so early, just to make sure. And they did hold the line, so as you can see, covering more of the red. It's now the double peel being called by Team Watling. Hit this right too. They could also run it back into some rocks in the house. But this looks like it is over curling. It'll just be a single and roll to a corner guard position. Team Carry again, deja vu here. They'll be calling for that center line guard. Would like to keep it a touch higher. The line was good on it, but make for a tougher double peel. Keep it a pinch higher, but it is, it has over curled more than they would have liked. Here's Team Watling's going back to throwing the run back again. real close 
and well done. Oh, it's Team Watling saying shot rock in the top four behind a few guards. Team Carey sitting second and third. Team Carey looking to negotiate the port, also indicating they can come off their own stone in the top eight if it hangs out wide. That is tricky because the weight that you need may have a tendency to hang, which is why they're looking for that option off of their own. But if they can do that and push it back and sit shot rock, they'd be in a, a very good position to potentially steal. They have blocked off the path. Modeling, evaluating their options, seeing if they can play off of Team Carry's stone. all three in on the discussion. It appears that the call would be trying a tap on the redstone. You can see about half of behind guard. They'll need to tap it to almost biting or actually getting a, a good chunk of the forefoot there. As you can see, Team Carries Rock just biting the back forefoot. Big scrub right off the top. And that will crash on the guard. Open their rock up for Team Carey's last rock of the, the end. Again, Team Watling with the hammer.
Now Team Carry would like to see a, a guard up here, really just taking away that tap for Team Watling that they just played. I want to keep this about halfway or so. Too tight means there might be a double tap there. Placing the guard have to be so careful because of that late finish that the ice has. As, as sweepers and team carry had done this well before, picking up right out of the hand, holding that line and finishing it as needed. Team carries last rock here in N3. Team Watling with the hammer. There's that late finish right into position. Looks like Team Watling will be trying to negotiate the port over Pearl and, and tap that red one back again. Team Carries Rock is just biting the back of the forefoot, so they'll need a, a bigger chunk of the forefoot to score their deuce. Rock and N3 needing to negotiate that port, and they will not. So, the team Watling picking up one here in N3. We asked Saskatchewan what they know about 5G. Uh, more speed, more innovation. It's going to make our lives a whole heck of a lot easier. This is what 5G looks like. Better, faster. Sounds like one more G. Sounds pretty good. I don't know what it means. All you really need to know is the future of 5G is here and will continue improving through investments in network technology. The 
and we are back with our coverage of the Curling Stadium Martinsville International featuring Team Watling taking on Team Carey. You're just joining us as Team Watling taking one in the first by virtue of a measure. Team Carey, draw for two opportunity, went deep, picking up only a single. Team Watling in the third, needing to negotiate a court, play a tap further two, wrecking on the guard and picking up a single. So it is 2-1, Team Carey headed into, or for Team Watling heading into the fourth. These teams both fighting for their lives in this tournament. Chelsea Carey coming in at one and one. Christy Watling searching for a win, currently 0-2.
with that roll all the way over, forces team carry into a backline sort of tap situation, needing to negotiate their corner guard. to squeeze by that corner and it will not but they'll get the roll almost onto the house exposing that back rock the miscommunication there should have gotten the sweepers on it early they're not quite as much weight as they were thinking of down now team Watling play a draw into the top and lie to it. We're coming out to help with the sweep. Got great line though. She's brought it a little too deep here. Team Carey might be able to make a play off of the exposed red. They are opting to play the run here on their blue. Big scrub here, need to avoid touching their red guard. This is a huge over curl. It's like just not, not the weight they were hoping for in this case. And unfortunately for Team Carey, that leaves extra guards. But fortunately for Team Watling, they're sitting to find guard. We'll be throwing up another guard there. We do have to keep in mind the potential of that in off off of their red. Need to cover that. The red on the side eight. This is kind of where you need the big rock. You also want to make sure you're guarding the, the blue rock so that Team Perry doesn't have the same shot right back. So now Team Carey will have, have the same shot, asking for more weight in this case. Get by the guard make the run back. Beautiful shot to lay one in behind two guards. Team Watling doesn't have the hammer this end looking just for a freeze to try to cut down that scoring area for Team Carey. Ah! 
So this is first skip rock for Team Watling. Christy Watling trying for the freeze. Keeper picking this up right out of the hand. And it will be over curling and coming up short. Further blocking off that path, but really unfortunately they didn't get much out of that shot. They would have even liked if they could have over curled and, and nicked off of their blue rock. Now for Team Carry, they have an opportunity to sink a second shot in here. tough for Team Watling to remove it if it is fully buried in behind. Chelsea Carey with her first rock here in N4. So with that rock coming deep, Sweeping to the side, they'll wait too, but now they've opened the door for Team Watling to play a bit of a hit goal in behind. It doesn't look like they'd be able to get shot, however, they can make Team Carry's life very difficult. And Team Carry with the hammer, Team Watling, all they can do at this point is really play the hit on that Team Carry stone. You can get a little bit of a flop in, would work, make it tougher for Team Carry. Here we go, Team Watling, last rock. Got the hit and the stick. So you can see there, it is available, but a, a tougher shot for, for Team Carry. They're evaluating if they can nose that one and be shot. Go playing the hit, perhaps even needing a bit of a flop. Tough to tell from the overhead cameras, but they for sure need to get to at least nose, if not a pinch under, to be safe. Here we go with last rock and four team carry with a hammer, sitting one, playing the hit for the deuce. Yes. 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 
the hit, but will it be enough for two? that we will have our second measurement of the game. First measurement was in end one. It's team Watling winning that one. Now if you're just joining us, this is the measure for the second point. Team Carey has this one. Hoping that their hit was enough to pick up the deuce. Go with the measure. <laughs> From that indication, it looks like it might have been Team Carey picking up the second point. In that case, it should be three to two for Team Carey after four ends of play. And we'll be back after a few messages. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. SASTEL Be Kind Online wants to stop cyberbullying. Want in on the action? You can get a grant to help. We award up to $1,000 for youth initiatives that help spread kindness and prevent bullying. It's easy. SASTEL has already given away tens of thousands of dollars. There have been lots of great ideas, including kids giving cookies to others, a group set up to welcome newcomers to their school, random acts of kindness, and so much more. The ideas and opportunities are endless. What great idea do you have to help stop bullying? SASTEL can help. Go to BeKindOnline.com and apply for a grant today. Together, we can make a difference. Imagine a place with endless possibilities. Imagine a place where people come together to build families, businesses, and communities. Imagine a place where small town values and progressive qualities are in perfect harmony. Imagine a place rich with so much vitality. Imagine your future in Martinsville. Welcome back to our coverage of the Curling Stadium Martinsville International. It's a round robin game featuring Team Chelsea Carey taking on Team Chrissy Watling. Team Carey coming into this game at 1 and 1. Team Watling searching for their first win at 0 and 2. And we have a tied game. 
it has been a game of singles. Team Watling taking one in the first end by virtue of a measure. Team Carey heavy on a draw in end two, picking up only the single. Team Watling looking to negotiate a tough court to play a tap in end three, end up breaking on a guard and getting only a single. Then uh, Team Carey again on a measure, lost out by just a fraction. They've been playing a hit and it rolled just slightly out, so it was only a single. So here we go in the fifth, Team Watling with the hammer. Carry throwing that tight guard. Team Watling right in the top four. Team Carry playing the freeze here on lead second shot. Excuse me, seconds first shot. Going to over curl and land here's just off the rings in a corner guard position. Team Watling looking to play the draw right in behind to top 12. They actually don't want to fully bury this because you can see where the positioning of Team Carry Stones, it's a fairly short run back there. So they want some separation and to keep the angles tough for, for Team Carey to run in their guards. And Team Watling only playing with three this game. Sweeping for the finish, and that will be almost frozen on top, but as mentioned earlier, there is now that run back available, and it is a run double. Team Watling really just need that rock to curl up another inch or so. But it's not a gimme here. Second, second stones. And it will get it and spill out one. So the other Watling Stone over to side 12. So again, Team Watling with the hammer, playing ahead to lay two. the guards. Now it's looking like this could drag right back onto the red stone. And lose that blue corner.
got a bit of an overcurl, so that will fly right past. Again, for the drag effect, you need to hit that more on the low side, center line side of the rock. So Team Watling sitting two, looking to play the tap. Now the call was for about back eight and the idea behind that is trying to get as much separation as possible between the rock they're tapping and the shooter. Got the tap, will it be enough? It, you can see it's got a bit of separation, but they would like that to go about two feet more. See, there's about a, a nose hit double available for Team Carry. And oh so close, got the, the double the other way. Not quite pushing it out, but they are sitting second shot rock over on the left hand side of the screen, so that's outcounting the lot of stone. Team Watling looking to put second rock in play. Second shot shot stone over on the side eight. Yep. For the guards, so now it's just a finish in there. And well done. forced into playing a run back. Got to hit it just slightly high on the broom side. Ever so slightly. They'd like to play that run and also bounce the rock they're running in behind the guard. So pretty technical shot here. This is Chelsea's first rock here in N5. And beautifully done. Now they would have, again, it was a tough call. We've seen how much the ice curls, so they played that a bit more on the conservative side. They got the run, but as you can see, it's about two-thirds exposed on the center line side. At the end of the day, just really needing to make sure they got that run back. Now for Team Watling playing this, they want to make sure they don't roll too far and and possibly leave uh, a double there for Team Carry. But they would like to see a, a bit of a roll away from the guard. Super picking this one up right out of the head. They will be on the front one. Now an 
unfortunate jam. Very unfortunate jam for Team Watling, and it's now Team Carey sitting two and drawing for a third. Very, it, tables have turned a lot in this this end. Team Watling looking really, really strong there for so long. That run back by Chelsea. And then the, the over curl with the unfortunate jam uh, for Team Watling. And now Team Watling's going to possibly be facing a pile of rocks here on their last. But team Carey still needing to, to get this rock in a good position. Perhaps just a just top eight or so, or even if they're buried rain right behind that centerline guard, about top four. Sweeper's taking this one right out of the hand. Big scrub. Full set top four, buried just a piece. They kind of got caught in between two shots there, though. They really needed that one gratefully right behind the guard or even the touch lighter because now you can see Team Watling has a fairly open hand. Here we go with the last rock and five. Team Watling needing the hit and stay to pick up the single. And that's good for one. So it is Team Watling taking a 3-2 lead over Team Carey after five ends of play, and we will be right back. For victims of domestic abuse, fleeing may mean leaving everything behind. There is hope. Sastel provides brand new cell phones so that starting over is possible. Learn more at sastel.com slash fresh start. Imagine a place with endless possibilities. Imagine a place where people come together to build families, businesses, and communities. Imagine a place where small-town values and progressive qualities are in perfect harmony. Imagine a place rich with so much vitality. Imagine your future in Martinsville. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. We 
are back with our coverage of the Curling Stadium Martinsville International, featuring Team Watling taking on Team Carey. We're in the sixth end of play right now. It was Team Watling being forced to hit for a single and, and five. So it is, the score is 3-2 for Team Watling after five. What we're seeing here, Team Watling is trying for a center line guard over curled. Team Carey looking to place their rock in behind, which they have, but unfortunately slipped too deep into the back. Team Watling trying their hand at coming around. They will also go deep. So sweeping to almost the freeze at the back. Just leave the door open for Team Carey to sink one in behind the corner above the two line. is going to be light and over curl and in another corner guard position. Now Team Watling, the first call was to sink a second one in there in behind the corner. Again, they don't have the answer, so even dropping it short in this case is a pretty good situation. Skipper running out early to help with the sweep. Now it is hanging out there really wide. They need this one to curl. And look at that late finish. So it will settle. So three quarters exposed on the center line side. Carry playing that double. He's a scrub to get by the guard, and they will not. They're a bit casual on the sweep there, so it looks like it might have taken off a bit more than they were thinking. Team Watling would like to see that guard replaced right in front of the rock and the top of the 
could even keep it a hair to the center line side as well. That would work. done with that finish you can see it's staggered there there's that run back available not a good by any stretch of the imagination Just missed the, the line call there again. Stuffed it in the back, so Team Watling now sitting free. Again, it's Team Carry with the hammer at this end. In a bit of trouble so far, but still plenty of rocks to come. Team Watling electing to play that come around to lay four. get that. Now it over curled a hair, not quite as deep as they would have wanted it. You know, Team Carry has the opportunity to come around behind if they choose. And this is a shot more just to clean up, play the run double. They do have to be careful about where they leave their shooter so they're not choking off the right hand side of the sheet. get it just needed to, to curl it more there their um, left team watling still laying free Team Watling was debating between whether you put this rock over curl it slightly past the guard into the top 12 or put it behind and elected to go for a behind top four. It's a little bit light. There is a plan B. Needs to find the brakes before the T-line. And it will in top button. Jamie on with her last here in end six. 
You need to clean up some of those bottling rocks. And he has to play the double. both moving but it will stick around so it appears that Team Watling is still going to three at the end of the day here. See the first skip rock for Christy. I'd like to see this drawn just to top four, not too much deeper. Otherwise, I'll let Team carry off the hook a bit. Successfully negotiated the guard now needs it to sit. And it will go deep. So this is I just mentioned about laying them off the hook, really, that that rock could have been anywhere from top four to even top twelve and, and still made it difficult. But Team Carey now has a skipper's deuce opportunity. If she can sink one in right on top or even just the top button. Put them in good territory to still pick up their deuce. Team Carey with the hammer, Chelsea with her first in N6. Needs to find that finish at the end, sit for shot. Well, not, but it appears to have stopped for second. Still leaving a pocket in there for Team Watling. Could freeze right in there. Or even just top button, and it would be tough for, for Team Carey to even score. Team Watling's last rock in N6. Team Carey with the hammer. It's hanging and needs to find that finish. It will. Almost couldn't have walked it down any better.
too many easy options for team carry here. To overcurl that on the blue to tap it in. You're seeing here, there is that corner guard they have to negotiate as well. Not easy to cross the face, the guard with the wing. But if they do manage to do that and get across just a hair at least, they will be able to nuzzle it in. But uh, Team Watling really put the pressure on this end. Here we go with the last rock in end six. Team carry facing three. Watling Stones needing a precise run back to score. And well done. Picking up the single in N6, all tied up again, three all. And we'll be back in just a few moments. SASTAL Be Kind Online wants to stop cyberbullying. Want in on the action? You can get a grant to help. We award up to $1,000 for youth initiatives that help spread kindness and prevent bullying. It's easy. Sastel has already given away tens of thousands of dollars. There have been lots of great ideas, including kids giving cookies to others, a group set up to welcome newcomers to their school, random acts of kindness, and so much more. The ideas and opportunities are endless. What great idea do you have to help stop bullying? Sastel can help. Go to BeKindOnline.com and apply for a grant today. Together, we can make a difference. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next curling stadium. Welcome back to the Curling Stadium Martinsville International coverage. Our feature matchup today, Team Watling, Team Carey. Been a game of singles so far. Team Carey making an impressive cross face run back for a single, 10-6. Team Watling with the hammer here in N7. Of a tick shot played, rolled to a nice corner guard spot and bumped in. Carry opting for that high guard, just looking at which way to play it. Really thrower's choice in this case.
facing that second guard. Now they would have liked it to be closer to the center line side now. Team Watling playing around the corner. Again, Team Watling, aside from a, a few hiccups, they've been pretty impressive playing with three all games few times when they could have benefited from another sweeper, but still very impressive. This will come up short in center guard territory. Which suits team carry just fine. I'll be looking to put one in top eight and fighting top four. Line is great. And great weight to lay two. So team Watling playing the, the run. They'd like to see this on nose, if not just a pinch on the high broom side there to get that hidden roll in behind and keep the shooter behind the guard. Hair of an oversweep, but they do catch the rock in the top. And even though it didn't remove it from the house, still a good position moving that. Also, you can see it's, all the rocks are gathered more towards the left side of the sheet, more in that corner guard position, which benefits the Watling team. Team Carey again with another draw, this time to lay three. Seeing the curl that they were expecting, so just going to bring it back as far as they can. Will be exposed with some air. Need a big scrub to hold this and avoid the guard, but they will catch it and spill their shooters over. Looks like it might have been a little less weight than expected on that stone. So. Team Carey looking to replace that guard in a tight to halfway guard position. Stop just in time. A little tighter than they might have liked it though, because and a little bit wider now there is that, that double for Team Watley. Also they'll be able to roll their shooter away as well.
Uh, but with the jam, didn't didn't get it at all. The miss on that case would have been just straight peeling it out rather than leaving it there because now Team Carey can throw a second guard up on that one and make it real tough. Again, Team Carey saying through the house right now.
Imagine a place with endless possibilities. Imagine a place where people come together to build families, businesses, and communities. Imagine a place where small town values and progressive qualities are in perfect harmony. Imagine a place rich with so much vitality. Imagine your future in Martinsville. We asked Saskatchewan what they know about 5G. Uh, more speed, more innovation. It's gonna make our lives a whole heck of a lot easier. This is what 5G looks like. Better, faster. Sounds like one more G, sounds pretty good. I don't know what it means. All you really need to know is the future of 5G is here and will continue improving through investments in network technology. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium.
very quickly become a messy end for Team Carry, especially. They have the hammer here in end eight. No team really been able to find the house yet, though. The team Watling call is to play a tap on their tight center guard. See, if they can get this in a good position, they could even potentially steal in this end. And Team Carey would have a, a lot of digging out to uh, try to get themselves in a position to score even. Got the tap in behind the guard. Would have liked to hit that one more on the nose, though, and send it back into uh, the forefoot. At this point, too, Team Carry just needs to think about making sure that they have a shot for their skips last to at least get a single point here. It's it's getting pretty busy up there. Call is to, to play a double. I'll remove both rocks and remove the shooter. They've got one and not quite the second one. Leaving tons of corner guards up in play. Now, those are fine if you have hammer, but on the other hand, it is choking off a, a lot of the draw options here. And Team Watling, they can put a guard up here just slightly to the right of center, covering their rock. Uh, going to be seeing Team Carry still needing to play those run backs, those peels, in order to put themselves in a button. This will be wide and, and deep and that leaves two in the house. So that's a big mistake for Team Watling. Now where they left it, it's not very ideal for Team Carry to play a double. So you can see Chelsea indicating that roll up. But again, that's how quickly the end can change around there. That was a, a big miss for Team Watling and opens the door for Team Carry. This will be a big shot for, and again, another big shot. Keep using that word for team, a team carry and Jamie Sinclair to play the hit and roll over might bring the deuce back in play. Up and over and out. Well done. Free execution and an end line call by Team Carry. Now it puts Team Watling in a bit of an odd situation given that everything is over on the corner guard side. So now they're just going to need to use those corner guards to hide behind. Really need to stay shot here and preferably shot as close to the T line as possible. And it is now buried in behind. That was that was critical to make sure that they were shot buried behind. But by being behind the T line, that opens the door for Team Carry to 
play a freeze or they don't even need to freeze in this case really even just come down b shot stone around the t line the way it finishes here it is possible to still come around behind the guard and stay top house Rock needs to find some breaks and and they've found the backing. Be back to a game of freezes here. Christie's first rock here in end eight. Line is good as long as the weight is there. Don't want to bounce on this case. And they keep the line in for shot. So a bit of a tricky spot here for Chelsea. They need a, fr a freeze tap or even just a perfect freeze with line. It can be a bit difficult with the way that this ice breaks right at the end. But most important that they, they get shot off of this and, and don't really have much room to bounce. So this is Chelsea's first rock here in the eighth end and team carry with the hammer. The sweepers backing right off this one. Waiting for that line. Trying to carve it now. And a beautiful shot. The way the sweepers have backed off that one, it was looking a little dicey, but uh, pretty, pretty much perfect.
there are no time clocks here. Team Watling can take all the time that they like. At this point, they had two options. They could do what they're doing now and make a play on the, the blue, or they could just block the path, give Chelsea the single and block the path for Harry's team coming in to draw for a second. Looks like they're tr going to make a play on that. can be dangerous, though, because you really need just to inch by that red stone and come across the face as much of as possible on that blue stone to punch it out the back. So very, very precise shot. This is the, the last stone for Christy here in end eight. Just got by, nudged it. They even might have kissed the guard a hair, but they've certainly made it tough for Chelsea on her last, even though they're saying one. Team Carey down one with the hammer, currently laying shot rock at the back. Playing a draw or wick draw off for potentially for two. And if the shot isn't made, then we could be looking at an extra end. Here we go, last rock and a team carry looking to pick up their deuce and the win. By that top rock, going to need a nudge off of rock there. Is it enough? Doesn't quite look like it enough, and it will be bonus curling for us in our coverage of Team Watling taking on Team Carey. We will be back with you in just a few moments after the commercial break. <laughs> For victims of domestic abuse, fleeing may mean leaving everything behind. There is hope. SaskTel provides brand new cell phones so that starting over is possible. Learn more at sastel.com slash fresh start.
substituting computer power for imagination. Pride overcome by the pursuit of profit. But in the heartland, the fires of ingenuity and craftsmanship still burn. Yoder smokers forged from iron, sweat, and handcrafted with pride. In America. Welcome back to the coverage of Curling Stadium Martinsville International. We have bonus curling today in the form of an extra end. Team Watling, Team Carey, four all after end eight. Going to need the ninth to break the tie. And it's been a, a game of singles. No team able to convert with the hammer. Saw Team Carey attempt a, a very tricky draw on their, their last and waiting to get by the corner and just didn't quite pick up the sweep early enough and it wasn't enough to get that second point. So here we are in end number nine. And it will be Team Watling that has the hammer here in N9. Team Carey is now two center line guards up Team Watling in behind on the button. Could put them in a really great position right now on if the second lead stone is placed right in top four and behind those guards. And team Watling playing the whole game with, with three. Pretty impressive performance from the team. This is going to be wide and deep. Now where they left it, they left a, a possible hit and roll here or even that freeze again. Chelsea electing to play the same turn for the freeze. And a wide and heavy and that will blow right by but it will stop just biting the back eight. Really was decision time. If they slam, they know that Chelsea would want to play that freeze in there. So if they got in there first and slam one in there, it's great. But also knowing that with with Hammer, they really need to clear out those guards first, or at least start with a single peel. 
here with their third Brock. Mission accomplished. Now they played that also knowing that Chelsea was just going to play that freeze again. This will be the second attempt for Jolene Campbell. They were talking about playing the other way as well, uh, just simply because there is that red rock to play off of, but in the end, playing the exact same shot that Jolene just played, same turn. And well done. Great alignment for Team Carey. Team Watling, again with the hammer, playing the peel. Mission accomplished and roll to that corner guard position. Playing the guard, we like to keep this fairly tight to the rings. Looks like it's going to slip deeper than intended. And we'll stop in time. Team Watling going for the peel. Off of it, maybe even catching theirs and a little rub into the house as well. Now with how these rocks are bunching up and now where that rock is in the top 12, it could be used to slash, which is why the call is to bring this rock into the rings. They're still leaving their stone exposed, but in a great position with those two, two blue rocks ahead.
trying to clean up in this case, rearrange the angles so it's in their favor. The second, third stone. Team Watley. And that'll do it. See, Team Carey still has the opportunity to replace, but at least looking a bit better than it was before for Team Watling. No further than just for shot. So I think I should, yeah, I'm going to move my wrist here. I have to move it over. Yeah, I'm going to shot across there, so it's probably not going to be Got the freeze tab coming. Chelsea with her first here in the extra end. If you're just joining us, this is bonus curling coverage of our future matchup. Team Watling, Team Carry in the extra. Team Watling with the hammer. Needs to find the curl. Sweeping to curl, and it does. We're going to see some weight thrown by Team Watling. It's Christie's first in the extra. Got the rocks moving, but it will be Team Carry still sitting. Shot stone. One more carry rock to play. Team Watling with the hammer.
I mean, she's gonna have a shot to win regardless. Right. What do you want her to do? Just like get the other person to take one, then you take two. Yeah, just get the person. K, so then if that's the case, then you take that one and then you take this one. Okay. [noise] Yeah. [noise] Oh. So are you supposed to be like Italian to Jennifer or something? Yeah, I didn't know that. I took Italian in high school for three years. That's sweet. Um Don't remember any of it. Cards in hand. Should I pull out the leaves? I don't keep this right? Hm? Should I pull out the leaves or keep it in a strand? Doesn't matter. Up to you. Doesn't matter? Might be easier to wash it just on the strand. I don't keep this right? What did you grow up with? Like just wherever your parents are. Whatever you want. Dude, I'm not that poor. I can't afford this. It's like the most amazing place. Really? Yeah, I dunno where it is. Yeah. Cool. What? Rochelle. Okay, Rochelle. Thank you. [laughs] Rochelle, yeah. Okay, Rochelle, take this. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's like Mhm. Da- that's like thirty dollars. [laughs] [noise] Yeah, that's actually not that bad. Yeah. [noise] Yeah, that's pretty normal. That's pretty typical. That's awesome. [noise] Yeah, she seems really happy. Yeah, she's having a good time. Yeah, she's having a great time. [laughs] [noise] Uh oh, she's cutting the avocado. Okay, that's good. That's good. She's doing good things. She's waiting. It's very sad. Yeah. She had to hide from herself for so long. [noise] No. Cuz when you're first pregnant, your first thought is like, "Oh, I need to conceive." [laughs] I was like, "Don't do it." [laughs] Why? It's a hard thought. Well, yeah. It is. You think, "Oh, I need to conceive." I used to be like that too. I, like, thought the whole time I was pregnant and like didn't know if I was gonna and then I was like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. [laughs] [noise] That doesn't sound like yours. It does not. [noise] Yeah, [laughs] That's exactly what I'm thinking right now. We're gonna have to walk this walk. You know what? It's okay. [noise] Yeah. Just have to put one leg up. [laughs] Just bear pregnant. Yeah. [laughs] [noise] [laughs] Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's good. That's good. That plan. [laughs] With God. [laughs] With God. [laughs] Just kidding. [laughs] [laughs] Not really. I believe in miracles. [noise] [noise] Not the Smarter people plan. [laughs] [laughs] Yes, no, I don't believe in miracles. [laughs] Okay. It was just a really hard thing to get over. And then I had friends over and we said it was okay and then she was like, "No, you really need to like" [laughs] Some people treat it as religion. Yeah. Yeah, I just had to say it. Unfortunately, most of them treat it as religion. [noise] Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Lucky you. Yeah, she lost faith in me. Good thing. [laughs] [noise] She doesn't want to come back to me. [laughs] [laughs] Yeah. [laughs] Yeah, she doesn't want to come back. [laughs] [noise] [laughs] Yeah. [laughs] [noise] Team carry with their last in the extra. Being a very precisely thrown shot there. Looking for a just edge on edge situation. Fighting the top four. Making it tough to throw For team Watling to throw any double. When I say edge to edge, I mean, on that red rock you can see on the left hand side. Like, to see their shooter top eight, just being top four area. Yeah. [noise] Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. [noise] Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right there. Right there. [laughs] Well, that wasn't there. [laughs] Yeah. Here you go. [inaudible 1:35:42.60] Chelsea's last in the ninth end. Connor. [laughs] That's brutal. Sorry, Chancey. No. [noise] That's all good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, where's Jenn? Oh, I see. Yeah. She's getting there. Yeah. Oh, Jenn's actually one of the last ones. Yeah, she is. Nice. Oh, yeah, you drew the water this time, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why you gotta do it after. Oh, okay. Yeah. We didn't think about that. Yeah. I thought you were gonna do that. I thought I was gonna, like No. [laughs] [noise] Cuz then I was like, wait, what if he blocks it? You know what I mean? Yeah. [noise] Okay. Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah, it's a good point. I'll give her that. I will give her that. I was just gonna use that. But you know what? You guys are both winners. Yeah, for me. [laughs] Okay, well, that changes the game for me. Yeah. [laughs] [laughs] Pretty much. Now you're in the jail. Oh, this is what happens when I get shot. Sorry. Hey, Jen. Jen. Jen, this is Jen. Yeah. Jen, this is Jen. [laughs] Uh, what am I? I'm gonna build off board and then um Tell me when to build one and then I'll build them all later. No, just the one last one. Yeah. [noise] Oh. Oh, I didn't know which one was the big one. Do you want these ones back? Or what's the big one? Yeah, I wanna keep these. Okay. [noise] Perfect. Thanks, babe. Um What? What's wrong? Am I done now? [laughs] [laughs] I don't know what to do. [noise] Odd. What did you choose? Odd. Oh, there's the two odds. There's the big one and then there's the little one. [noise] So, are we looking at the normal characters? Yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking. But then I don't know if that's the right character. [noise] For this season? For this season, yeah. So, you're not really picking up two cards this season? No. Three. Three cards. Plus your extra power. Oh. Okay. [noise] Yeah. Oh, that's what my character did. Never mind. [laughs] Um [noise] So, that's five? No. Yeah. Aw, dang it. [noise] Um, [noise] that means I'm gonna do both of those. [laughs] Yep. Oh, no! Like, this is just, what? [noise] No. That's brutal. [noise] You You can't do both. No. Y- you can only do one. K. [noise] Sure. I can, okay. Yeah, you just can't shoot me. Yeah. [noise] You shot me. You killed my sister. You can't shoot me. The sheriff doesn't care. [laughs] [laughs] Everyone hates the sheriff. Yeah. Yeah. What is he? I guess you can't shoot me. [laughs] [laughs] Wait, so how does this work? [noise] So, you shoot Jenn the first. Oh, so I shoot I shot the sheriff. Your turn, Meg? K, I'm done. No, it's Thomas' turn. [noise] [laughs] Oh, wait, so I can't do this, right? No, you can go. Oh, I can't? You can shoot. Yeah, you just have to shoot Thomas. Yeah, just shoot Thomas. But I don't get to shoot you. Shoot the sheriff. Yep. [noise] Okay. [noise] Yeah, Thomas. Yeah, shoot Thomas. Yeah, no. [noise] Laughs] Where's my pistol? Right here. [laughs] Yeah, that's fine. No, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's fine. You shoot me. [laughs] [laughs] Don't worry, man. [noise] We're all gonna be friends. [laughs] Yeah, I know. [laughs] We're gonna be best friends. What? [laughs] Yeah, I know. I know. [laughs] Come on. Aw. I wanna play a game. Ooh, I love butternut squash. I've never had this. Where's the squash? Uh, it's over there on the table. Oh, there it is. Where is, how do you find it? [noise] I always get confused. [noise] I ha- there's one on this side. Mat, what do you play? Uh, you'll have to get rid of your card. Why? Dang it. [laughs] [laughs] No, you can't play any more because your player card doesn't allow it. Oh. [noise] But you can play three rounds? No. [noise] Yes. [noise] Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Sure. You can do it. Oh, you can do it. Nice. You can do it. Nice. [noise] [noise] How many did you draw? [noise] Three. Why'd you draw three? Why not? [laughs] I did that on purpose. What? Well, that's not very fair. [laughs] It's pretty fair. Huh? It's pretty fair. [noise] One two three four five six seven. Okay. All right, gimme a card. I had a wood if you wanted it. Hmm? No, I didn't need a wood. I ha- I had a guaranteed wood. I actually don't need wood. [noise] K, what are you offering? You have a wood? Yeah, I wanna build on that wood. You have a lotta wood. You get a lotta wood. No, I have four. No, you only get [laughs] one to one. K.
Curling is a global sport and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next curling stadium.